Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're about to start on a journey here. A journey into a traditional Ikoria draft. We're finding a draft table. <clears throat> Fill in those seats. <laughs> the last Facebook message I have from Kerwitz says, is it soon yet? And the first message in chat is, is it soon yet? Hold on, I'll see where I am. I'm in seat one. And also... Let's see where else I'm sitting today. Two. I'm also in TC2, so I'm passing to myself. That's good. Oh, we. Oh, looks like we luck it out, boys. <clears throat> Exile the top three cards of your library. Creature cards exiles this way, but you can cast this card as long as you control a planeswalker named Lucka. Exile a creature you control, then reveal cards from the library to reveal a creature card from higher mana cost. And then each creature deals damage equal to. It's power to each opponent. What happened to MTGO? I think it's still there. I mean, we're taking Planeswalker you for sure. Things my way. You are my enemy. Oh, look, we got a Forbidden Friendship and a Cathartic Reunion. We have, we have two of the three, of the three parts. All we need is a Capture Sphere. And then we have the whole thing. I wonder. I want to get a pack with all three of them in there. I want to take this Sanctuary Smasher. Oh, wow. Um, Dreamtail Heron's actually very, very good. I think Dreamtail Heron's probably better than Smasher. Or Thunderman, and we can be the Cycling Deck. I don't want to be the Cycling Deck. I don't want it. <laughs> it's also just a 3-2. I'll take the Dream Heron. There's the capture spear. Sphere. I have no idea what this emote means. Rylos, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. It was sad to see the node deck not work for you. I've had decent luck with it. Yeah, I don't know. It just did not seem to pay off. Uh, I think we're taking the auspicious Starix here. It also puts us in Teamer, which is a legit color combination. Oh, another Dreamtail Heron? Sure. For sure. Oh, another Dreamtail Heron? For sure. For sure. Actually, it might be Humble Natural. It's definitely got to be Heron, right? This card is like one of the best mutate creatures in the format. I'm surprised I've gotten so many. Um, plus seven, plus seven, and I make a dude block it? Could just be Anticipate. Thank you. Oh, Badger, what up, my dude? Welcome back, my bro. Always a pleasure, buddy. Always a pleasure. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm just taking Anticipate here. We can fill in the gaps. Oh, Migratory Greathorn? God, they're just giving me the... All the, all the Mutados. That's a late Migratory Greathorn. People got no respect, man. Well, nothing in here is great. <coughs> um, yeah, we'll take Survivor's Bond. I don't think we're going to be playing it. Fertilid is fine. We could put a, a Dreamtail Heron on it. This guy's also decent. Yeah, I'm going to take the Great Horn. The, the Horn Bash Mentor, rather. I don't know why I call it the Great Horn there. Here's a Honey Mammoth. Two years of dad jokes is right. Wow, that's like the perfect... I don't think I care about Terran or... Or Honey Mammoth. I think I'll just take a keep safe for the sideboard. I had really... I had really decent... Thank you. Uh, decent results with the mysterious egg recently, so... Oh, Kirkland's signature! You know what? I really don't know which draft boy Kirkland's signature is. I thought it was Lil Willy, but it's hard to say, because you guys are all, 
You guys are all just great. I want to take Fertilid here for the fixing. I think it's probably better than Moscow Goryak in this situation. Oh man, look at that. Now we draw the Godzilla. Oh, another auspicious Starix. Jeez. Jeez. Hmm. I think the Stark is actually better for our deck, for sure. I definitely don't want to play Song of Creation. We have a lot of high top ends. Um, no. This guy's fine. Gust is alright. It gets better with three Dreamtail Herons, I guess. I don't think it's Tigerilla. I also don't think it's Brushwag. Like, I love the Brushwag ability to, to pump it into the Trample, but like... I don't think it's one of the better uh, mutate targets. I'm going to take the Gust, I think. I agree with Starks feeling, feeling feeling rare level power, which is definitely why I took the second one over the over the actual rare. Rumbling Rock Slide is very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Rumbling Rock Slide. We're just going to be Teamer. <clears throat> That's two of our three lands. Definitely better than any of their cards in this pack. Yeah, I'll just take the Tri-Land. <clears throat> See, this pack's not very good. It could just be Goriak. Goriak! We actually don't have that many three. Like, we could play this on three and then Heron on four. Make a three, four Vigilant Flyer. Draw a card. Aegis Turtle. I think we're just taking Forbidden Friendship here. Because it does give us a creature to mutate onto. Ooh, Avian Oddity. <clears throat> I do like an Avian Oddity. I also like a Great Cocoon. Oh, what a Thwok. <clears throat> do we need another four drop? We have a bunch of four drops. Maybe we... Maybe... Maybe. I'll just take an Avian Oddity. It also cycles to get flying, which is definitely good. Yeah, I'll take Fertilid. Oh, uh, Capture Sphere is actually just fine removal, so... Okay. I can't tell if it's just this format, or if our decks have always looked really good. Like, I feel like our decks have been like, oh, we got a, a lot of decent uncommons, a few really good rares. You know what? Now I'll take Song, because... Why not? Oh, what up, Shove Jr.? Goriak. Where's Mike B? He'll be here soon. He went to the grocery store. Guy starts drafting and just forgets to read the groups. Yeah, wow. What? What did I... Wait, what? What group chat? What's happening right now? Oh, another Migratory Greathorn seems great. Definitely better than anything else in this pack. Taking that boy. I've read the whole thing. There's nothing for me to respond to, right? It looks like Mike's been typing for like 45 minutes. Is that six drop worth playing? Uh, are you talking about the first strike one? 
I think it's fine. I don't think it's better than Migratory Greathorn, especially if we're playing three colors. <clears throat> oh, Pouncing Shore Shark? Yes. Need it. Need it. Also Rumbling Rock Slide, but I want the Shore Shark. Oh, man, I want to splash this Bone Arrow Lurker so bad. But then there's another Migratory Greathorn. I need one more egg, or I need... You sent Mike B a message and he never even opened it? Denver the Last Dinosaur? What is that? Oh wow, he really did type a thing. I think it's Great Horn number three. I just want all the great horns. Reconnaissance mission. Actually, Glimmer Bell is decent to mutate onto. It's a one three for. It's a two mana creature with flying that you can untap. I think we're taking that. I also like an otter. I also like a, 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 a humble naturalist. Despite not being able to mutate onto this guy, it is nice to just cast your four drop. Oh man. Actually, because we have three, we have three herons. I think I'm just gonna take the thieving otter. <clears throat> oh, great sandworm is nice. Thornwood Falls, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, oh yes, cocoon. Oh yes. All right, our deck is actually perfect. It's the most perfect deck I've ever experienced. We could probably cut the red cards, right? There's only three red cards. Thank you. I mean, one of them happens to be a planeswalker, I guess. Oh, the antibody. Thanks for saying so, buddy. Oh, one of the companions I rank too low? I guess. Last pick, Moscow Goryak? That's interesting. So if we cut the the red cards, we just lose. This is also not great if we're cutting red. Man, that's sad. I felt Kruger should have been higher. I mean, based on what, though? Like, he's not in many decks. Like, he's in just, like, the Fires deck. And only, I think only some of them are running it. I mean, I don't see him in Pioneer or Modern, but I could be, I could be wrong. Like, I don't know. Like, I just haven't seen him personally. I mean, we can, it's, it's great to be like, this card is much more powerful than, than I gave it credit for, but like, I don't think the evidence bears that out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think, there's, it's not, the other cards are all running rampant. Like, there's there's ton of Obosh in Modern and Pioneer uh, and in Standard. Like, there's Umori is in Modern and Pioneer and Standard. Like, I, I just don't see Karuga as much. I, I think it's a cool card. I love Karuga. I think it's probably one of my favorite uh, companions, but I don't think that makes it necessarily better than, than I gave it credit for. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um. so yeah if we take it the red out we just have a two color deck I don't think the red cards are really worth it I'll be honest with you Triumph's not as good so we still have to cut four four cards I actually kind of like Survivor's Bond because I feel like Pouncing Shore Shark is one of our few answers to things 
which is very discouraging. I'm going to take Impulse out. I think we can take Anticipate out. I feel like we have enough card advantage between, like, um, three Herons, Briss, uh, Migratory Great Horns. I could take out one Fertilid now that we're two colors. We don't have a ton of humans, though, which so we're probably just going to be getting back one thing. We have, like, no humans, actually, except for... Actually, we didn't even have Humble Naturalist, which is pretty funny. Hajigulashi, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. What up, my dude? Maybe keep safe is actually. Thank you. I think keep safe is decent here. We can take out the fertilid. We have two, three great horns. I don't think I care about fertilid that much. Um, reconnaissance mission is also kind of meh. Busier during these times than I've been in years. That's actually great, dude. I'm glad to hear it. Tiger Nate, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. We got one more cut to make. I think this is actually fine. I think I just play 41 because that's what we do. Done. Oh my god, look at look at Lucka still being our deck. Our uh our deck image. I will play first. I'm gonna keep this seven. <sighs> no far find. Oh look, a Yorian. So they're playing. So they're playing sixty cards. Wow, their deck has to be terrible, right? Because there's just not. It's just not really possible to get forty good cards playables in a in a in a standard limited format, right? Like that's wild. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! That's how the cocoon sounds. I don't know if you guys knew that about cocoons. Over. I mean, this is a turn three, four, five that gets us a land. Like, I don't know what more do you want. <clears throat> don't worry about the 41st card curse and it's a myth. Clearing out my arena decks today, I realized that all of mine have an extra card in it and I win some of the time. So it can't be the extra card curse, can it? No, clearly not. That sounds preposterous. Just get two more lands. I don't think it's great. Like this just says four mana, put a one one counter on your creature and get four lands, get two lands out of your deck. I think I just want the other three four. I don't know. The flying could be real good eventually. Whatever. I'm just gonna play it. We could have also anticipated. We could play both of these anticipate still of humanity. No chaos. Is chaos draft up? I'm gonna be honest. I don't care about chaos draft that much. It's all right. <coughs> oh, a mentor. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna see if I can find ours. Nice. Or we can bounce it. Nope, that's sorcery. Mm 
That was golden. I feel like we're doing okay. Whoa, 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 he's a mentor. Alright, well, I'm out of cards in hand. But now both of these guys have tramples, so, you know. That's cool. Oh, Billy Biscuits. Should I give this guy flying too? One, two, three, four. Hmm. I guess this wins the game, right? Because this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So. Gonna float on over and kill you. Jimmy the Mole. I, I was very migratory. I agree. Is that Michael? Oh wow, Michael. Michael's here. Oh god, it's Michael. Where Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna use my bathroom. Elk tears. That's a name I haven't heard in 40 years. I'll keep this hand. Brushwag. Oh, a little otter. I can go otter into Pouncing Shark, bounce their thing, attack with my otter, draw a card. Gah. Let's do it. What's our deck in one sentence? Pretty, 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 pretty good. Our opponent's playing mono green Yorion over here, so. They see me thieving, they hating, patrolling. Oh, they didn't do anything. Guys, I'd like to take a little a little trip with you guys to Value Town. Would you like to go to Value Town with me? <sighs> What's more valuable? I think it's Pouncing Shore Shark, forcing them to replay their thing. Get him! Take action! Chomp him down! Give me, give it to me. Yeah, that's right. You people had enough? Give Thank me some more. You. Alistair Kane, Adam, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, guys, he's wearing his Washington Redskins jersey today. 
Oh, I'm not giving up this shirt just for You should keep it for the meme. Oh, it's actually better. You're right. Okay, so we want to mutate again. Give this dude flying. X number of times this card is mutated. So, like, if we do that next turn, we get to do, like, 15... Stillness. Oh, my God. This is wild, dude. Uh, I think we want 4-3, right? I don't know, actually. The three tough, the four toughness could be very relevant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do four toughness. Oh, let's draw another card. Oh god, the value is so real. This deck is fucking phenomenal. So this is gonna, this is gonna, this is mutated three times. So we're gonna get three fucking permanents from this thing. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. What are you, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Your mom? Tell her I said hi. Oh, my little Michael, you on Frankie's stream again? I'm literally texting our chat. Are you guys streaming on the internets? Oh, goodness. Oh, Michael, you're going to be a celebrity. You're going to give those kids your phone number again. <laughs> All right, so we get to draw a card. We get to bounce a thing. And we get to... I haven't gotten to text in a couple days, guys. Y'all are slacking. Uh, target creature, I'll just bounce you. Again, if you'd like to text Mutual myself, my number is 727. This is wild, dude. 244 6826. Again, that's 727. Don't say again like it's a fucking info Well, if you don't again, say it again, that again that like, number people is... are like, oh crap, I missed it. But if you say it twice, they usually can remember it. They can just clip it and. and... What do you got? We're drinking. Mountain Dew Black Label? Yeah, I, I wanted to try it. Oh, wow. That is fancy. Oh, he's crafted fancy. with Dark Berry. Dark Berry? Mm hmm. Right there. You know, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. That's what I always say. Also, this is just Grape Mountain Dew. 100%. But it's good. Grape Mountain Dew sounds delicious, though. Is that a... It's an energy drink, right? Because it's a tall boy? No, I don't think so. It's gotta be, right? No. This is just... doesn't say energy drink anywhere. It's, Michael, it's gotta be. Let me check the ingredients. Listen! Oh, wow. Grape juice is the second and third ingredient. So, what happens if I aus auspicious Starix on this guy? We bounce another thing. We draw another card. And then we get to mutate for like eight. We get to trigger this for eight. Is that correct? Because that seems on. I'm not even gonna. It is or isn't. Is it? Shut up really? And take my money. It does have 83 milligrams of caffeine, but there was a big thing on Twitter yesterday asking people what their best first turn ever was. So Frank, I'm like, what's the best first turn you ever had? Oh, that's that's a good question. I don't know. Not mine, but the most devastating turn one I played money. against. Two pack. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna. I'm is, literally. Uh, this is gonna be bonkers. Our old friend Gary McNeil. Gary played at turn one Island in the Soul Ring, turn two Jace the Mind Sculptor, and I was like, "Well, that's gonna be enough." I gotta. Oh, I wanted to see the eight, dude. It would have been eight friggin' auspicious Starx triggers. Might be. How are your guts after all the spicy nugs? It literally destroyed me for like a day and a half. It was real bad, actually. Dang it! I wanted a nine. Tri it would have been eight triggers. Because it mutated four times, right? It mutated one Starx, two Starx, Pouncing, and Heron, right? Four times. So each one would have triggered four times. So we would have got to put, like, the top eight permanents into our thing. That's... Oh, that man. That pretty cool. I'm so sad he didn't just let it... Just let it... Just let it... Let it work. Let it go. Great Mountain Dew sounds childish, so they call it dark berry. Yeah, literally the third ingredient is grape juice, so it's 100% grape. It's not dark They're like, berry. what if we had Mountain Dew and we replaced the orange juice with grape juice? Let me check if there's still orange juice in it. Oh. I'm going to change Lucka. Because he ain't he ain't the centerpiece of our deck no more. I'm putting this fat-ass shark acid, arm, man. No orange juice. Made them... <laughs> Ten made them quit bids. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle the mutates. Had a turn two win with vintage tin fin once. I forget what tin fin is. What's that deck doing? It's like Bristle Brand and shit. Oh, snap keep. Two Mothra's cocoons? Come on, man. How do you lose? Tell me how you lose. By not being able to cast white. You think this is a white card? What makes you think this is a white card? Oh, that's a different card. I'm sorry. I mean, I think I'll win if I can't cast white. I don't know. I don't know why I need that in this deck, but I thought it was the moth card. Okay. 
What, you thought I had two of the Mythic Moth card in my draft deck? I didn't know it was a draft, man. I just joined. I literally just got here like a minute ago. I mean, you could look at this hand. I have Capture Sphere in my hand. I have a Pouncing Shore Shark in my hand. I was talking to the chat and stuff, okay? So your eyes didn't... Your eyes stopped working? No, I just wasn't paying attention to that part. Hmm. Huh. Whatever you say, Michael. I appreciate that you could... Who, who is, are the people who don't keep the Godzilla arts on? Because that seems weird. Those people do not seem... What, are you not like fun? <laughs> That's so weird. Like, the Godzilla arts OP. It's also really good, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That turn... That's so weird to me. He's a mag Magic is a serious game. You can't have Godzilla's in it. <laughs> You think they would allow you Godzilla Altered Arts at the Pro Tour? I know. I went to the Pro Tour once back in 1472. And, uh... My dad told me that... When he was the... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just gonna bounce this idiot and get in you're there. You're doing what's called a stupid. Michael, you called it a stupid, so maybe you're the one doing... Oh, you're gonna block my... I hope I got the right, the right sauce, man. What? How did Is you... it Rouse? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Row. I got the marinara. What sounds little man make? Row. <laughs> oh. Is that the one you got? The marinara? Yeah, bitch. Because there's other varieties. You two need to be nice to each other? This is nice. We're being totally nice to each other. This is how we always act. Okay, you know, uh, what's his name? N uh, cumin? There's also tomato basil, but like, I'm never into that sauce. It's too bland. You know? What's, his, what's the dude's name from, I can't think of the name, the dude's name from Eternals. I don't know at all. Kumail. Kumail Ninja Nanjani. Um, oh, okay. that dude. Huh? Yeah, okay. Rouse, it's fantastic. Dude, also it's keto so good. It's also keto friendly, apparently. It's so, so it's, good, dude. So it's low carb. That's interesting. It's good to know. I've been like, I won't shut up to, to Katie about it. I'm like, this sauce is so good. I'm making it tonight, man. It better. It better blow my mind. It better. I'm making it tonight and it better. Capture sphere. A little penne, a little, a little sausage. So there's this video. Uh, Kumail Ninjani shows his fridge and gym. It's a men's health video on YouTube. It was just one in my, in my feed, so I just watched it because I think Kumail hey, Ninjani is pretty funny. And uh, one of the funniest things is I was watching the video. Uh, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm just going to go to the video anyway. Is this the... Or are you going to get demoed? It's not even... It's on mute. Look, if you look in his fridge... Look, right there. There's the rouse. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. I did see it. Hold on. I'll, 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 I'll pause it. I was like watching the other day and I was like, oh, shoot, look, there it is. Rouse homemade sauce right in his fridge. I was like, that's a good endorsement right there. Turn him on. Turn on those mic bees. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep going on the shore shark, right? So. Mutate is busted. And if you don't remove it, it's pretty hard to deal with. Rouse tomato basil. That one. Row. We've only tried the marinara so far, I believe. But if it's as good as he says it is, then I'm sure the tomato basil is probably fine too. OP. Interesting. It's so good. I was like surprised. I've been surprised. And like, I'll notice if I leave the bowl, like if I leave the bowl on my desk, like after I had lunch or something and I don't clean it up, the smell is so strong. Like I'll, I'll keep smelling it throughout the day. It's ironic that there's a pasta sauce that is keto friendly, but there's no pasta in keto. Yeah. That is awkward. Just put on your vegetables, man. You can make zoodles. Yeah, I actually did a Google search and I was like, what's the best jar sauce? Because I like making my own sauce, but I also like just want to know a good jar sauce. And, uh... I always thought, um... What was the one I used to buy? It was decent. I think it was my dad. Oh, yeah. My dad. It was one of like, the slightly higher end brands. I forget. Slightly higher? I'm just going to attack with the Migratory Great Horn. What I liked about it is it had lots of garlic in it. Ooh, lots of garlic? Yeah. Wow. I like a nice garlicky Do sauce. you like a nice garlicky sauce? I do. Do you like a nice... Prego is... Well, Prego is an abomination. It's worse than Ragu. Don't even talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Good Mythic Warning say Prego is, Prego is better than Ragu? I disagree. Wow. 
You disagree with our Lord, both our really Lords bad, and though. Saviors, Rhett and Link? I mean, just because I like them doesn't mean I agree with their tastes. Then again, ragu was kind of a thing when I was, like, young, so I have a slight nostalgia for it. Ragu! I don't think it's good, don't get me wrong, but I think it's slightly better than Prego. Okay, a 3-3 three, three and a 3-3 three, three versus my 8-8 eight, eight and 7-7. Seven, seven. I think we have... Uh, I think we have it under control here. I started using it on hot dogs. Whoa, marinara on hot dogs? That's next level. That is it's wild. You're clearly a maniac. But the sugar-free ketchup is sweetened with stevia, and my stomach does not appreciate that. I mean, marinara on a hot dog doesn't sound that bad, depending on what the other toppings are. Just put a little mozz on it. Then you just got an Italian hot dog. Nope, that's not how that works. Why not? Well, it's a hot dog. Because there's no fucking Italian hot dog. <laughs> that ain't a thing. I mean, it's not that much different than a... Yeah, if you put soy sauce on a hot dog, then it's just a Chinese hot dog. No, dude, that's... Well, listen, okay. Uh, sausage and pepper sandwiches are a thing, right? Yes, because they're peppers. But what if you took the peppers off, replaced the sausage with a hot dog? Yep, then it's not a hot... Then it's not an <laughs> Italian dish anymore. Right, but sometimes people put marinara on their... Sure, they do. What? Yes, but th the dish is already an Italian dish, and you're putting marinara sauce on it. You can't take a non-Italian dish and put marinara sauce and then make it an Italian dish. That's not where the Italian dish part comes from. It doesn't become an Italian dish because you put marinara what on if it. You get, That's just fucking racist. What if you get a hot dog, and you put a bunch of Italian seasonings on it? Or inject it with it somehow? Inject it? Yeah. Inject it with basil. Like, do a line of basil. Then you're literally talking about a fucking sausage. I guess at that point, you're making a sausage. Out right, of like, that's just a sausage. A, a hot dog that's spiced differently is just a sausage. Yeah, I guess that's fair. You're just trying too hard. You're just trying to make... Stop trying to make hot dog Italian hot dogs happen. I bet that's a thing somewhere. Oh, my fucking God. Well, if that somewhere is other than Italy, it doesn't count. Chopped up hot dogs in place of sausage and pasta carbonara. I actually don't do that. <laughs> I put sauce in my Cheerios and call them Italian Cheerios. Isn't an egg roll the Chinese hot dog? Hmm. Maybe. Frank, let's go to New Jersey right now and I'll take you out for Italian hot dogs. See? Who said that? Uh, Bear for Mare. Oh. They know this guy can't block my 7-7, seven, seven, right? I have marinara on me, Mike. Am I Italian now? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Chopped up, hot, chopped up hot dogs in place of sausage in pasta is pasta carbonara? That's not true at all. I don't, mutate on the egg doesn't do anything. Like, they can still block with their 2-2 death touch is the problem. I mean, we can still, we're probably still going to do it for free. I just want them to... I just want to attack with this guy first, though. Make a Bloody Mary Italian by using marinara instead of tomato juice. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now everyone's arguing what an egg roll is. The Chinese version of something else. Apparently it's a taco, it's a hot dog, and now it's also a burrito. That was a good draw. I set a jar of ragu on the ground, now the world's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, that's funny. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now an egg roll is a sandwich. If you put a, a jar of ragu on the earth, is the earth Italian all of a sudden? China is just Mexican Italy, you dummies. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Arctic is really good. Everyone else is dirtling, and I'm like, I'm a dirtle harder. Well, a taco is just a Mexican hot dog? No, Mexico has that's their own style of hot dog called the Serrano dog, right? That, that's a... What? Isn't that a Mexican you can't thing? You just make things up, Or is Michael. that from California? Google that. Google Serrano hot dog. No. Okay. Sonoran? Serrano hot dog or Sonoran hot dog? Maybe Sonoran. It's got like beans and mayonnaise on it and salsa. Mike doesn't know. Mike don't know words real good. Uh, 
I don't know, man. Sonora sounds pretty Californian. It's a North American desert. It's literally a, an American thing, my dude. But was it invented by a Mexican dude who came to California? Don't be racist, Michael. <laughs> How is that racist? This is a question. Like, just don't. Just don't be that way. We're an inclusive stream. Oh, yes! Oh, no one's ever gotten this excited about Mothra's great cocoon in the history of Ikoria. But, you know, I have a three drop that wants to mutate and a four drop that wants to mutate, so... Sometimes it's just where you want to be. And then you want to send him a message with the cocoon. Michael, what came first? The pasta carbonara or the or the Sonoran hot dog? I'm gonna go with carbonara. No? Well. So I got bleach in my nose. You got bleach in your nose? Yeah. Is that where you put it? No, because it was on my hand from wiping my stuff down. And then I touched my nose, and now I can feel the burning. It would be avoidable if I could buy wipes, but... Why don't you use your butt wipes, the ones you disinfect your butthole with? Those are special, Frank. <laughs> they sure are. Also, they're not antibacterial. Great Horn is so OP, and I don't know how my decks end up having three or four of them in every, or every draft. Alright, you got it. Are you going to play Grim Dancer? Because then I'll just Dream Tail Heron and attack you with a 5-6 flyer that drew me a card and put a land into play. What the that fuck? That might be get that runner. How dare you, Kerwick? That's why I'm using the Bleach to avoid it. Bleach is the only disinfectant stuff in the house right now, so... Because you just can't find it. There's no wipes. There's no spray. Just gotta use the Bleach stuff. I'm just going to get in there with this guy, and we're going to put Dream Tell Heron on you. All hope is gone. <laughs> Sounds like a Mole Drifter, right? It's like a 4-5 Drew me a card. Another Heron? Beautiful, baby! No, it's not straight bleach. It's a spray with bleach in it. It's not just actual straight up bleach. Spray, just spray it up it's your like, nose next like time. It's like Clorox with bleach in it. Spray it up your nose next time. Just put it up your nose hole, Michael. Oh, no attacks? Fascinating. Mike B snorting bleach and eating, uh, eating dog treats? Are you trying to start the next Tide Pod challenge? Wow. I guess I'll attack for 10 here. It's nine. Bleach. It's just nine. My bad. Well, then you might not do that. All right. Now you're dead on board. You gotta kill both of these guys. They both fly. Yeah, they're dead. Alright, so we're 4 0, right? I don't think we've lost the game, and our they haven't really been close. Katie's like, I really want to play Animal Crossing, so I'm like, cross those animals. Can you guys encourage Katie to play Animal Crossing in the chat? I feel like she just needs a little encouragement. I heard Animal Crossing is the best game to play right now. It's true. I only play Magic because I don't have a Switch. Kaylee, please play Animal Crossing. I mean, I'm playing AC while listening to the stream. See, you guys are... That's what I'm talking about. I wish I liked Animal Crossing as much as everyone else does. But I guess if I did, it'd be awkward because I don't have a Switch. That's true. You're like, God, this is my favorite game ever. I wish I could play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, I'm really sorry you can't play your favorite game. How would you cross those animals? How would how would how cross would those animals be if you didn't play with them? Let the animals cross. It's true. Cross them like a man. Are you gonna eat some of Mike's pasta? No, you never touch another man's pasta. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh. If, I, if I win the big 50 on Friday, and I'll just buy a Switch. Yeah, that's a good idea. I would probably save your money. You know. It was, it was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> who knows what? Who knows what's happening with Michael? I'm gonna buy a Switch. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was him. Push off. Oh, there's anything wrong with the Switch? Mike moving as well? Yeah, obviously. Where else would Mike go? Well, that's hard to deal with. My garbage can can go anywhere, buddy. It'd be weird if me and Mike moved to moved to Utah together, but then Mike just suddenly didn't move to... Just he here. just stayed in Utah randomly. That'd be weird. Well, we have four lands in our hand, so I'm sure that's going to... I see a man sitting next to you. Who is your mutual and what does he do? Um, does nothing. Mike, aren't you supposed to play Frank if you win? Oh, pay. Yeah, I'll definitely give him some of that if I if I win the big the big boy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I know his game. Well, on one hand, it's also a good idea to just literally, like, if I win 400, to just take it and put it directly into savings and not touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. That's the plan. Yeah, don't. I might. Don't even breathe on it. I might put three fifty in the savings and save fifty for the next just take Friday them. game. Yeah, but other than that, the Friday game. <clears throat> My name is Michael B. I gotta win though. Can't do that recently. Apparently. Yeah, I don't know what your problem is. You went from I doing real, real well. I haven't won for like a whole week, dude. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of. I've been watching it. It's, it's kind of sad. I've been like, oh, that's sad. I just keep getting these really unlucky spots and like. I'm sure there's other parts where I'm making mistakes, but like, at the end of the day, sometimes you get it all in and they just happen to keep the nuts. Sometimes they get it all in and they hit the nuts. <clears throat> and then you're like, oh no, those are my nuts. And like, you can't just fold on the river when you don't have a nuts 100% of the time because then you're just losing way too much money playing. That's bad too. It's a tough, it's a tough <laughs> spot. <laughs> Jamie Cruz just said in a, in a YouTube comment, nobody, absolutely no one. Frank sings literally anything to the tune of the Growing Pains theme song. It's true. Show me that's my love. Show me that's my Had a great draft last night. Three blood curdles, two dead weights, dir dir dirge bat, easy prey, and heartless act. That is a lot of removal. Mike, if Frank says he's going out for cigarettes, you better start packing. Wow. Hey, man, I'm just going to the store real quick. I'll see you later. Hey man, has Frank ever come back? Can you string two more cyclers together, my dude? Also, losing a poker over in Oregon is really discouraging. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. I don't know how you keep drafting me. How do you do it? Um, yeah, fucking amazing. Cool. How much does a draft cost on Arena? A one nickel. Okay. Well, I mean, it's 1,500 gems or 10,000 gold, but I don't know if you have any frame of reference for that. How much is it for, like, 10k gold? I don't know. You can't okay. buy gold. You earn gold. But you can buy gems, right? Yeah. How much are gems? I don't fucking know. Okay. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. Otherwise, I would have just done that tra That I would have done that, that uh, conversion in my head and just told you that. Someone in the chat, how much is it to draft on Arena, roughly? What's the price? Oh, you probably should have held the bird back. It's yeah, because I just assumed that they could pump that guy's plus six, plus zero. Oh. It's basically ten dollars. Okay. Rather than putting them on a two-turn clock. Okay, so you basically you spend twenty and you get two drafts out of it. So basically, ten dollars a draft. Okay. Ten Stanley nickels, Michael. Yeah, they always fucking have it. Well, that's what happens when you fill your deck with forty. Uh, or like 15 shit cards that don't actually do anything in your deck and they just cycle and like three actual spells that you need to get to every game and you always hit them so that's usually how it goes anyway the point was that like if you didn't do this for a living and like stream content and support yourself that way 
Spending like twenty ten dollars in a draft and just losing over and over again would be pretty rough, right? Well, yeah, but I wouldn't do that. Right. Show me that smile again. If you guys can blame this, you guys can blame this on Jamie Cruz. I think we're at a point where like I don't want to tag. I don't know if they like, flash creatures. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna renege on our our arrangement where I attack with my O3 for funds. Yes. Yeah. Frank suffers for his art. That's it, man. That's what it. What does the cocoon boy do when you mutate onto him? He doubles your mutate thing. This? No, it gives you plus one plus one counter. Okay. And then we can uh, we can Starx next turn into Starx. This is gonna be. Two triggers, and this is gonna be six triggers. That's a lot of triggies. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at this. Look at this MTGA. Hey, man, you like raisins? No, I hate raisins, and that's why they're the last ones in there. It's literally all raisins. Yeah, that's because they give you the most raisins in those right in those trail mix bags. Show me that smile. Don't waste another. Michael B in the trash can. Oh, and we also get a land out of it. That's pretty cool. Yep, that's pretty good. <coughs> so I've been playing poker for over 25 years. Just a suggestion: wins and losses come in waves. It's when you're down. Uh, it's when you're down that you have to learn to walk away for a while. Otherwise, you might never get a chance to come back. Well, that's not necessarily true. Generally, if you're doing well at poker, you should steadily increase your uh, earnings over time. But walking away, unless you're playing bad, walking away doesn't actually matter because it's not like if you walk away from the game, you're going to get luckier the next time you play it. It's like it's just a it's just playing positive EV over time. Like you're just going to have down swings and it just happens. But maybe you are. And I'm sure I could be playing better. I'm sure there's plenty of spots I've. No way, man! You've played flawlessly. What if I played flawlessly? I'd be moving That's to Canada. Uh, no blocks. So I'm gonna bounce your blocker and then just kill you. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. Because of this, this is two mana, so we just bounce this guy. Auspicious Strix onto onto this guy. Get three triggers. Attack for 400. Sure. Yeah. I want to do this first because I just want it to, I want it to be so big. I just want these triggers, man. Look at this. Look what's happening right now. So now I'll put an island. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sure. See, now I didn't have to use this, so. That's an incredibly long game. Hope you Look at this! Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Ooh Rick. Got him. Oh, I get it. You're suggesting that the one poker game has lasted 25 years. <laughs> I've been playing poker for 25 years. Just one game. We never stop. It's the longest poker game I've ever played. No one's won or lost yet. Well, some people have lost. The ones are one pennies, two pennies, and we play with thousands of dollars. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Also, I watched a video by Daniel Negreanu, and like, he gets annoyed by the question of like, what should your bankroll be for $1, $2, or like $2, $4? And he's like, you know what my suggestion is? That's too low for it to matter. So you should probably just have a billion dollars. Because then it doesn't matter. That's the perfect bankroll. A billion dollars. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> and just ended oh, the video. I, was like, I think long. I have to mulligan this hand. Like, if we can hit runner runner, it's good. But then, like, that's what we have to hit. We're on the draw. So we have to have two out of the next three cards be lands. Uh huh. If that happens, though, this hand is bonkers. Mike, do you ever play Omaha? No, I've never studied Omaha enough to play it. He didn't ask if you studied it, Michael. He asked if you play it. I played it like once or twice. There's too many cards. Too confusing. Can't do it. I don't even know if I keep this hand or not. I need two out of the next three cards to be lands. It's pretty risky, bro. Are you feeling lucky, punk? I don't think I'm ever feeling lucky on when it comes to magic. 
Yeah, but some I've seen you keep plenty of these hands where you get there, so that's you just convinced me. Oh. Oh. Not other ones yet. 50 50. 50 50 on green. Does it have to be green? Oh, yeah. It has to be green. So it's less than 50 50, but. Well, no, I have a 50 pretty chance of hitting. I. I. I what? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's even better than a forest. That was better than a forest. No attack. It was like the perfect timing. If it came next turn, it'd be worse. Now we get to Great Horn. You got it. Show me that monkey. Omaha is fun, but the mass seems much more complicated. Yeah, because you have double the starting cards, so. Also, Omaha just isn't as popular as Hold'em, so, like, it's a lot easier to find games with Hold'em than it is Omaha. And usually play, people who play Omaha seem to be, like, just like better players. Maybe 10. I don't know. I just don't really want to learn a new poker game well. I don't want to learn a new poker game. I'm too old to learn a new poker game. <laughs> what? All right. Yep. Uh -huh. Now we're at seven. Teen. Oh, now we're going to take. Yep. Now we're probably at like six life. Yep. Boy, that's a hell of a magic card. It's really something. You ever play two card Johnnies? No idea what that is. <laughs> Everybody knows two card Johnnies. Let's get another forest though. Take that action. So what are the odds they kill us next turn? I feel like it's low. So I'll get in there with my fat daddy. Also, it's confusing as Omaha, there's usually different varieties people play, so there's like high, low, low, high, other stuff. It involves two cards and a hell of a lot of tacos. Hmm. I do like tacos. I do like tacos. Oh, we I can even get them in this town. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? So I can go Goriak. Can't Gust of Wind. I can Dreamtail Heron onto this guy in Gust of Wind. That actually seems insane. Under. Get another link. Oh, that's not what I want to do, but I guess it's fine because we're going to bounce the other guy anyway, so. <coughs> oh no, not a good taco spot in Utah. Bummer. Well, not in Utah itself, just in our town. There is one good, like, traditional place, but... I feel like I can't even attack. If they have any cycling card, we're just fucking dead. Yeah. So, Tagging that's cool. seems a little crazy. There's a good taco spot, but, like... They were sold out of chicken the other day. I was real disappointed. Yeah, there was also people sitting inside the restaurant eating, and I was like, you guys are fucking idiots. Yeah, not being far enough apart either. Also, I noticed not all the workers were wearing masks, too. I didn't notice any of them wearing masks. I think the guys that were coming out to the cars were, but... Oh, also, it's called Pollo. Well, I mean, Pollo literally just means chicken, so... I think he's making a joke. I think that's why he... I think he knows it's chicken. That's why he's making a joke. Maybe. Because at a restaurant... At a Mexican restaurant, Michael, it's called Pollo. All right, we're at two. Listen, buddy, I speak American, okay? I ordered chicken. Cool deck. Yeah, the psyching deck seems miserable. This deck is fucking bullshit, and I, I I wish they actually played limited when they when they made when they tested decks because. <laughs> yeah, apparently you can get away with playing like thirteen or fourteen lands, and your deck is just full of constant gas. Yep. It's pretty dumb. But I'm sure some people are having fun with it, so that's all that's important in Magic. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank patreon.com slash frank manatraders.com and cool stuff, Inc. All of those are great sponsors of the stream. You can find the links and promo codes down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.